Look at how swollen my eyes are. You want some pineapple too? Good morning. Day. Sunday, January 23rd at 3.38. Just got back from Melrose Training Post, which was fun. Very different. It was like an outdoor flea market. I literally can't talk. You guys don't know, I got another job. I'm like day three post stop right now, and it's just not getting any better. Like it is, but it's not. And I just can't wait to get this thing off. So yeah, we have a dinner reservation tonight at Craig's, which I'm so excited about. We got a few things at the Melrose Trading Post, and Ange and I will do a little haul in a little bit and show you. But our reservation's at 5.30, so we have like an hour and a half to kill before we have to go for dinner. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna do. We just got coffee dose. We got iced chai vanilla lattes, which I don't know who told me that I like chai because <laughs> this doesn't Sucks. taste good. I'm also not supposed to be drinking caffeine. Are you not? No. Are you not? Wait, is this caffeine? Yeah, they don't have, they said they didn't have any decaffeines. Oh. But this is only like one shot. I'm probably not going to finish it anyway. What are you doing back there? I'm so sorry. <laughs> So we just got back from dinner. It's 6.57 and I'm currently cleaning my nose and putting some ointment on it. I literally sound so congested and it's so annoying. I only have a few more days with this on my nose and then I'll be back to normal. Season 2 episode 3 of Euphoria came out tonight. So Ange and I are going to watch that which we're so excited about. We watched the first two episodes together when we were in New York. I really wish that they would all just come out at the same time. I hate having to wait a full week in between each episode, but whatever, it is what it is. I also desperately want to wash my hair and wash my face, but I can't do that. I could wash my hair with the help of my mom and Ange, but it's just so much work. So I think I'm gonna wait a day or two longer only because it's not even that oily honestly and i obviously can't wash my face because i have a cast on my nose i posted my first la video of me getting my nose surgery today and i've been getting an amazing response from you guys not that i expected anything bad but i'm glad that you guys are liking the video and are happy that i decided to share it with you because obviously i don't need to but i personally feel like it's my duty to share with you what I go through and also I can't just like go ghost and not post for a week and a half while I go through this procedure and I'm also on vacation with my family having fun so I felt it was only right to document and bring you along so yeah I'm happy that you guys are enjoying that video and are excited for the future videos coming I will definitely be answering a lot more questions regarding my nose 
in the near future because I have been getting a ton of questions about the procedure and why I had to get it done again. For those of you who missed the first video, I'll leave it linked down below, but to make a long story short, I grew scar tissue around the tip of my nose, which made it look bigger, I guess you could say, but it was just scar tissue that grew from the original surgery that I got almost a year ago. So there were many ways to go about removing the scar tissue, but I decided along with Dr. Zuman that surgery would be the best option for me, which is obviously what I did. And here I am with a cast on my nose. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole gist of why I look the way that I look and why I had to go onto the knife again. But I'm honestly super happy that it's all done with and that we decided to do this because I know that it will look just like how it did when I first had my surgery. And I'm literally so excited. Dr. Zumalan, if you're watching this, you're literally the best. And I love you so much. Like, actually, I cannot wait to get this cast off and to see my nose. That's pretty much why I have this on. But I will be answering more, like, specific questions when I get the chance and when this is off and when my voice is not this annoying to listen to. So yeah, I'm gonna change because I'm still in my clothes from earlier and I'm gonna get in comfy clothes, relax in bed, go on my phone for a little and then watch the episode of Euphoria with Ange because that's all I wanna do right now. Ange and I and my mom have done some shopping. Over the past two days, we went to The Grove, we went to Nordstrom, Randy Melville, some stores on Melrose Ave and also the Melrose Trading Post, which you saw from today. So we're gonna do a little haul and I'm gonna show you guys what we got. We're gonna start in order of like what stores we went to first. And yesterday we went to the Grove and we went to Nordstrom because I saw on TikTok that they sell skims. Okay, so first we're starting off with Skimmy. Kimmy K. I got these cute little to sleep in and cute. just another pair in black. And I got the same little boxers, Ow. but in gray. They're the yeah. softest material. And then I got these thermal pants, which are just black. They say skim along the waistband. And these are perfect for New York to layer because winter, brick titties. <laughs> and those are just perfect. And then I got these two. I think I got these. Yeah. Really just simple and basic. And doe tops, wear with sweatpants, jeans, literally anything. And again, so freaking soft. Really, really soft. Yeah. Next, we went to Brandy. Because I was freezing and I needed to buy so a little pullover, yeah. So I bought the one that I'm wearing. Cute. And then I bought these sweatpants. They're really soft. Because they're really soft. Yeah. And like, they're a really pretty color. I just like love to buy underwear to sleep in. But I don't know why. And I saw these. Cute. So I got them in like three pairs. Okay, and then I got, also from Brandy, my mom, this purple rain, little graphic tee, she loves prints. So by the angle change, and then I got the same boxers and two little pairs of underwear. You really went all out. And then was I. I got this hunter green this? this is so cute. It doesn't look that green on camera, <laughs> but. I did not see those, really cute. It is. And you just can't go wrong. And I bought <laughs> the liquid blush because yeah. I wanted to get the contour, but they didn't have it. And then my mom, just because I'll show what she got from Nordstrom, the brand Spanx. These like really so shiny, <laughs> these really shiny legging pants. Love that. What else did you get? She got a black, it's the same one in black from Skims. And oh, you got this, mom. Yeah, I love it. What is that? A bodysuit, like a tank top bodysuit. They're just such a so soft. Yeah, I could touch it all day. So starting off with some random stores we stopped at from the Velma Trading Post. I found this cute little tee. So cute. We got a whole bunch of like graphic, just like lounge around tees. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, these need to be washed. Are you gonna ignore it? And then I got this pink. Okay, why is everything falling? <laughs> And then I got this pink little Mickey Mouse. Really Wait, like Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey T, yeah. I also got this cute LA. Yes. Love that. And then I got this, which is just a classic, simple little Reebok crew neck. It's actually really big, which okay, is why I, I love did it. not see you get anything. I just <laughs> got this. 
I absolutely love this, and I just can wear this all the freaking time. It looks so comfy, really and it's nice and big. And I bought that this I Nike Crew Neck. Yes, also very large. As you can see, we love the oversized, very big and loud. Then I bought these. Really these are literally large. Yeah, no, these are like an extra large. Yeah, but I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, and just, they're just like these track vintage pants. Yeah, Adidas track. And then we stopped at this like gibbet little coucher. I didn't tell you guys, but we got Crocs when we were in New York, and we've been collecting gibbets. This one's mine, and this one's mine. <laughs> so we got this one, this one, and then Ange got this one, which says, who gives a shit? This really cute little donut, the same matching Patrick Star. I'll show you guys a picture of my Crocs. I'll put it up here, of both of our Crocs, actually because we didn't bring them here, but they are at my house. And we're gonna add these when we go back to New York, but they're so freaking cute. So the last store we went to it's from it's today, Cookies and Kicks on Melrose Ave. We were both super tempted to get sneakers. We don't know if we're gonna go back. Well, we actually have to go back because the pants that we got are too small. So maybe we'll end up getting a pair of sneakers, but as of right now, we refrained ourselves. We got matching sweatpants because they're just so freaking cute. And they're from the Cookies and Kicks brand. It's literally large, and I thought they were going to be big. Yeah, and I got a medium, again, thinking they were going to be nice and large, because they look big, but they weren't. And I just tried on the large, and they were, like, pretty tight. So we want to get extra larges. But they're yeah. so cute, super good quality, and I feel like they were well worth the 70 bucks. And then the last thing that I got is also from the Cookies and Kicks brand, and it's just this really cute baby tee. This one is just so cute. Again, really good quality. I and really like that. Yeah. This was like 35 bucks. I think I'm gonna buy the yellow one when I get Yeah, it. considering the quality and, oh, yeah, the, and the really graphic, cool. that's like a really good price for a little baby tape. So I don't know what's going on with this face mask, but I'm kind of getting a little concerned. <laughs> so that's everything we got. We will keep you guys posted on future shopping adventures that we go on while we're here in LA. Stay tuned for other vlogs. This is only like day four of LA and we have like a week here left. That's so we, like we gotta get a lot going. More shopping. Stay tuned. And that's it for today though. We did a pretty decent amount of damage given the time that we've been here. We're gonna go watch Euphoria, maybe the third season of Too Out to Handle, because I found out that that came out too. And we'll see you guys tomorrow when we're doing something else. Good night, guys! <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> maybe we'll catch up with you guys when we're like late night dining in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, I go. I kind of want to go on an adventure. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys, like, in a hot set. I have to wash this out on time. Okay. <laughs>